Brigadier Sayyid Ahmad Ali, the former Pro Vice Chancellor of the Aligarh Muslim University, opined that the society carries a completely wrong notion about the Muslim community which needs to be corrected. Another very interesting term you must have come across and I find very many of my non-Muslim friends objecting to it and they have right in their objection is the word called kafir. How many times have you heard this kafir? Now, let me tell you, kafir has been derived from an Arabic word called kufr. Kufr, which means something which is to use to cover or conceal. I put a coat on my face, I am also doing kufr because I want to conceal my face. I want a blanket on my face, it is also kufr. And from kufr, the word came about kafir. Night is referred to as kafir in Arabic very many times. Many people write night as kafir because it is concealing light. It is concealing light. Thick, thick clouds are also known as kafir. Isn't it interesting to know that even thick clouds are called as kafirs. Kafir in religious terminology means a person who denies, rejects or refuses. Denies, reject or refuses. So, if I believe in certain God, you don't believe, I'll call you kafir. And you believe in certain God, I don't believe, you call me kafir. You can call me kafir. It is not exclusive to any community. If a capitalist is there, he will call a communist as a kafir. A communist will be called as kafir. Understood? So please see the word, use of that word. The third thing which Muslims are notoriously famous is for producing children. Again, this polygamy thing is also being spread uh, quite a bit. Actually, there is a lot of agenda but not reality in that. I'll quote you a beautiful verse from Surah Nisa of Quran which will tell you what does Allah want. Allah has permitted four wives to Muslims. And why four wives? Because Islam at that stage was a growing religion. Allah wanted more population. So therefore he allowed four wives. But in the same Surah he says and I'm reading out blanket from that you shall never be able to be fair and just as women, as between women, even if it is your ardent desire. Aap barabar se do aurton ko ek nazar se nahi dekh sakte. This is the truth of life. God says, if you can abstain from four marriages, please do so. Please do so. This is in verse number 129. So four marriage does not give you liberty to every Muslim to marry four times. God himself cautions you that there will be a problem. And you see any household where there are more than one wife, how many problems are there? So it is not in the interest of Islam or anybody else. The correlation between polygamy and demography is also very strange. As per 1981 census, there was for every 1000 uh, Muslim females, there was 1068 males, 1068 males, 1000 females. Now, if every Muslim is going to marry four, how is this possible? Can it happen? 68 males will go without a wife. Am I right or wrong? So how can anybody marry four women and yet it is, it is cannot be believed that in a Muslim household for every one man there are four women. It is not so. A research was carried out in Pune by a lady called Radhika Mistri of Gokhale Institute. She came to the conclusion that the percentage of polygamous marriage amongst Muslims is larger than other religions. There is no evidence. She said there is no evidence of a, of a percentage of Muslims marrying more than non-Muslims. And if you truthfully examine any news or any paper, you'll find everybody is into bigamy or polygamy. It is not confined to Islam only. And in the context of today, it has gone down drastically. Same is with the total fertility ratio. 
the total fertility ratio of Muslim women has considerably declined in the last two decades. It has been a sharp decline of 0.8 percentage points. That means to say that the Muslims have also adopted contraceptives, other family planning measures, and that is why their percentage of growth is also going down. So don't ever get into that propaganda that the population of Muslims will ever exceed other communities. It will not, sir. The total TFR of the Hindus was 2.6 in 2005 and 6, and it has dropped by 0.5 points. This is a research carried out by Dr. Amitabh Kundu. Uh, he is a very famous sociologist, and he says that the fall is steep amongst Muslims nowadays as far as population and growth is concerned.